Hey guys and gals, this is JR with Lone Wolf Bushcraft. Just having some coffee from Costa Rica. I'm going to bring you two knives that are in two different categories. One's going to be a folder knife from Les Stroud. That's going to be in the video. And then the other knife that's going to be in the video is a Bear Grylls uh, fixed blade. So hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. Peace. Enjoy the video. Later. Hey guys and gals, this is JR with Lone Wolf Bushcraft and I'm going to bring you two different knives. The first one is going to be the Bear Grylls knife. I've had this for a while. And then the other one, which is in a totally different category, it's a Les Stroud folding knife. So let's first talk about the uh, Bear Grylls. It uh, comes with a sheath. There's the Bear Grylls. And it comes with a whistle there. If you can see, it's got charades. I know a lot of uh, bushcrafters and maybe even some survivalists don't like necessarily like the uh, char the uh, those teeth on there. But I I don't mind it. Um, but sometimes I do look for knives that don't don't have that. What's kind of interesting though, if you look on this side, see how that, and they're more showing on that side. That's interesting. Uh, of course, you got the holes, two holes there where you could uh, lash it to a pull and turn it into a spear. Feels really good in the hand. I will say that. Feels good in the hand. And it locks in place. Also comes with a fire steel, which you can pull out. I've used this before. So pretty nice fire steel. And it also locks into place. And so you're not gonna lose your fire steel. Um, yeah, the only thing I've, uh, over time, this Velcro could eventually wear out over time. It's got a, Humble there and yeah you can loop it through uh, loop it, put your belt through there and of course it's got a whistle so yeah that's the Bear Grylls there's another Bear Grylls coming out and it's called the Bear Grylls, Bear Grylls Pro and instead of the fire steel being here, the fire steel is actually up here. The, I think it kind of goes like that. The fire steel comes in there and the barrel girl's uh, pro. All right, let's go talk about the, uh, the folder. Okay, the Les Stroud folder. Pretty nice pocket knife. Sometimes when I was uh, carrying this folder, this Les Stroud folder, uh, I'd forget that it was in my pocket. So it's real light. Feels good in the hand. It does have an integrated fire steel that you take out right there. Not too bad. Not too bad of. Um, I mean, I could see this eventually coming out of here, and then maybe you'd have to put super glue in there. Anyways, uh, I mean, it's not super big fire steel, but it's not, um, I mean, it's good. It's a cool little fire steel. And heck, it's in your folder. And then, of course, you can put it right back in your folder. Let me put this right back. Goes right back in there. And you could put a lanyard in this little hole right there. 
what other features it's got. And of course, if you want to put it back in, you just push that to the side and fold it. It's got little studs where you can use your finger to deploy the knife. It has a clip point, so you can clip it inside your pocket. And of course, you can see the fire steel on there. Uh, of course, you got the color right there in case you dropped it on the ground. You got the gray. Put that fluorescent color right there. So I just wanted to bring you two different knives. They're in two different categories. The Les Stroud Folder and the Bear Grylls Full Tang Knife. So I'll talk to you guys later. Um, hope everyone's having a good evening. And everyone take care. Peace. Bye. Take care, everybody. Peace. Hey, guys and gals. I'm just having some uh, coffee here from Costa Rica. And I'm going to be bringing you two different knives that are in two different categories. One is a Bear Grylls folder. That's going to be in the video. And the uh, I'm sorry. Scratch that. <laughs> Les Stroud. Les Stroud folder knife will be uh, cut.